Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Hi, welcome back. Problem one dash thirty one. The statement of problem is the supporting wheel on a scaffold is held in a place on leg. Using 4 mm diameter pin as shown, so you can see this is a wheel, wheel, and that is a, a supported by this uh, leg player and with a pin that is of 4 mm in diameter. If the wheel is subjected to normal force of 3 kilo newton, so wheel if the force that is acted upon wheel is 3 kilo newton, determine the average shear stress developed in the pin. So you have to determine the average shear stress in this pin. It is also given neglect the friction between inner scaffold, puller leg, and the tube used on the wheel. So we will define, we will find the average shear stress developed in this pin. So for that we have to draw the free body diagram of this pin. So let uh, if I draw the pin like that. So let's say this is the pin layer. This is the pin having diameter of four millimeter. So at the both end of the pin, there will be a shear force that will be acting downward. This is V, and this is again also V. And this pin is acted upon by a normal load that is three kilo newton. So if I draw the front view, so it will be like this. So this is pin. There will be a shear force here, V. And there will be a shear force again V over here, and there will be a normal load that is three kilo newton. I am talking about this pin. You can see there will be a shear force over here, shear force over here, and due to this normal loading, there will be a normal load will be given. So we will find the shear force, and then we will move toward the shear stress formula to find the average shear stress. So let's start. So for that, I will apply the equilibrium condition that sum of all force along y direction is equal to zero, and taking upward force as positive. So you can see two shear force minus v and minus v that is acting plus three kilo newton. Their sum must be equal to zero. So it means minus two v is plus three kilo newton is equal to zero. So again, two v is equal to three kilo newton, and this shear force will be equal to three divided by two, which is one point five kilo newton. So we have the value of this shear force. Again, we know that average or shear stress is equal to shear force divided by sh sharing area. Clear? Now sharing. Force is equal to 1.5 kilo newton, so 1.5 we will convert into newton, so 3 newton. And since this pin is cross-sectional in area, so its area diameter is given as this diameter is given as 4 millimeter. Clear? So we will convert into meter. It will be equal to 0.04 meter. And this area. Will be equal to pi by four d square. Clear? So pi by four multiplied by d is equal to zero point zero four whole square. So when you calculate it, you will get the average shear stress, which will be equal to one hundred nineteen mega pascal. So this is the average shear stress that uh, this. Uh, average shear stress will be developed in the pin. Now we will move to another problem that is problem one dash thirty two. So in problem one dash thirty two, it is given that the lever is held to fix shaft using a tapered pin A B. So this is a, a lever that is uh, fixed by using. Uh, this is a lever. Sorry, this is a lever that is fixed. That is fixed to this shaft having diameter 12 mm, and that is fixed using a tapered pin AB. So this is a shaft that is fixed with this uh, lever by using a tapered pin AB. 
which has a mean diameter of 6 mm. So this tapered pin which is AB, it will be like this one. This tapered pin have a mean diameter of 6 mm. If the couple is applied to the lever, determine the average shear stress in the pin between the pin and lever. So this 20 Newton force and 20 Newton force is applied which produce couple player. So you have to find the average shear stress in pin between pin and lever. So what will you do is that you will have to draw the free body diagram. So in free body diagram it is again given that, that this is 20 Newton. This is again 20 Newton in upward. So if you look at this shaft clear and there is a pin. So at due to this pin there will be a shear force clear that there will be a shear force in this direction clear and let this point is point O. This is point O. This is point O. The center of this point O. So if I zoom it, let me zoom it. So if uh, this point is point O center clear and this is the force shear force due to pin B. This is a force. So you can see we will apply uh, this is point O this center. So we will apply the movement equation about point O that sum of all movement about point O must be equal to 0 and taking the counterclockwise movement as positive. So at point O the force which is producing movement is this force clear and this force. So there uh, it means that this is producing a clockwise movement clear so this force f is producing clockwise movement so f into perpendicular distance will be equal to uh, uh, perpendicular distance will be equal to 12 mm clear okay why because we are taking we will take two forces one is this one shear force another is this one so f into 0.6 plus f into 0.6 which will give you the same which is minus f into 12 plus the force which is producing couple or movement about point O is this force which is 20 Newton and the perpendicular distance will be equal to 250 clear and this force is also producing a movement which is 250 so in simple we will uh, write it as force which is equal to 20 Newton into perpendicular distance is 500 although this perpendicular distance or the movement uh, about point O due to this couple is 20 into 500 you can just write it like this wise or you can also write it as force into 250 plus force into 250 which will yield the same answer so when you solve this it will give you the value of the value of force will be shear force will be equal to 833.3 Newton. Now you have this force shear force you can apply the shear stress shear stress is equal to average stress divided by shear force divided by area. So shear force is 833.3 Newton and shear area is pi by 4 d square. Also uh, you have given the value average uh, diameter of this pin is 6 mm. So you can put it 833 divided by 3 divided by pi by 4 and this diameter when converted into meter is equal to 0 0.006 whole square and that is average shear stress. And when you calculate it so this average shear stress comes out to be 29.5 mega Pascal. So these are very simple problems. I hope you have clear understanding now. Thank you.